you might ask, how, how, do, how would physicists think about this? Because surely physics knows that space-time and matter is fundamental, and some cognitive scientist is saying that space-time isn't fundamental. The physicist sh can come back and just, you know, put me in line. Well, it turns out that physicists, for example, Nima Arkani Hamed at the Institute for Advanced Study at Princeton, Ed Witten, who won the Fields Medal, um, David Gross, who won the Nobel Prize, these guys are all saying this phrase, space-time is doomed. What does that even mean? It, well, yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's pretty profound. What they're, what they're realizing is that in the attempts to get general relativity and quantum field theory to come together into a unified quantum gravity, they're going to have to let go of space-time. It, 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 what we thought was the foundation, we've, we all think of space-time as the, the stage on which the drama of life plays out. I mean, Isn't, wasn't that Einstein's great uh, yeah, discovery? That, that was his feeling, and, and he, he assumed that space-time was, was fundamental, um, and he had the space-time loaf and so forth. And so the stage has been there for almost 14 billion years, and, and you know, life wasn't even on that stage for who knows how many hundreds of millions of years, and consciousness didn't get on the stage until much, much later. That's the standard story. And now we're realizing that space-time has to be emergent from something deeper. It cannot be fundamental. We just can't... So this is from the, phys the physicists, like, again, Nima Arkani Hamed, and they don't know what's more fundamental. Seth Lloyd at MIT has proposed that maybe quantum bits and quantum gates, so not in space and time. These are now bits and gates in outer space, but not in space. And each, each of those gates, its action gives you a little bit of space-time, and the curvature of the space-time is proportional to the action. Anyway, they're trying to start with something that's not physical, it's abstract, and then show how you can get space-time emerging from it. I'm up to the same thing. I'm saying, let's get a mathematical model of consciousness on its own terms, not inside space and time, but rather as the author of space and time. Well, you're saying consciousness precedes space-time. That's right. Consciousness precedes space-time. It's not so. The space-time that you're perceiving right now is not a stage that you're in. It's a data structure that you're creating right now. You create space and time. You create all the stuff that you're seeing. When you close your eyes, you make it go away. Okay, you're kind of, you're kind of blowing my mind. Here. Yeah, right. Yeah, so I'm, <laughs> right. Are you saying consciousness was there before the Big Bang? Yes. This is a big one. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I, I, I'm sober. That's, <laughs> I'm saying consciousness is fundamental in that deep sense, and the to make this thing work out, what I have is so the idea is that the ultimate reality then is a big, vast social network of what I call conscious agents. So we have this an infinite network of interacting conscious agents. Like I'm interacting with you, you're conscious agents. We're interacting. We're having a discussion. We're I'm saying that's this huge social network is the fundamental reality, and it turns out that's really nasty because dynamics on graphs is really fairly recent math. It's really, really hard math. So that's what we're working on is dynamics on graphs is that. And then if you look at big data right now, like big data for social networks, Facebook, Twitter connections, and so forth, and you try to visualize hundreds of millions of people interacting and so forth, how do you visualize all those social connections? It turns out it's overwhelming. You need visualization tools. That's what evolution gave us. What we call physical world is a visualization tool. Space is a really dumbed down visualization tool and physical objects are visualization tools that we use to inspect this vast infinite network of social interactions between conscious agents. But aren't there actual real 